Welcome to Dark Horse Workshop, everybody. Today we're going to be making a simple, comfortable eye patch. So let's get started. Just a reminder that you can find all sorts of patterns and artwork on my Etsy shop. There'll be a link right here. You can also find those same patterns and artwork on my Patreon account month to month. And hey, if you want to help support the channel even more, I've been designing some shirts. This is one of them here. So check that out. We're using six and a half ounce leather for this piece. You could use eight ounce easily enough. I get most of my leather and supplies from Lonsdale Leather. There will be a link here and in the description of this video, so check them out. We're using Vegetan, specifically so we can water form this piece later. Once we've got it cut out, we're going to bevel both sides with this number two beveler. Uh, bevelers vary in numbering, so just make sure that you've got a beveler that works for you for that six and a half ounce leather. Once we've got this all cut out and beveled, we're going to cut out a thinner piece of black leather for the backing. Once this piece is all cut out, we're going to move on to water forming our initial piece. Now, we want to get a curve on that vegetable tan, so we're going to run it under hot water, soak it through, and then we're going to move on to something to form it over. I use a sandbag and a large round piece of metal. There's lots of options. You could hammer it out, you could form it over a bowl. Whatever you can figure out to use will probably be fine. This uh, looks more complicated than it is really. So I'm just smash it a few times to get a little curve in it. And then we're good. Now you need a curve in it obviously because otherwise it's going to be pressing right against somebody's eye and that's not a lot of fun. If you heat up your wet leather, you're going to make it a little harder. Be really careful. You don't want to overcook it and destroy your piece. But I warm it up and get it pretty good here. I'm sure there's lots of items you could use. I'm just using this single lacing punch to make these holes. It's not quite wide enough, so I double it up a little bit, and that makes the holes the perfect size. Once that's done, it's time to dye our leather. Make sure you put a couple of coats on, and if you're using something other than black, you might want to wet it just lightly to get a more even coat, unless you're using something like a spray gun or pro dye. Once it's all buffed up, it's time to do our edges. I'm going to apply some beeswax to the edge and burnish it. You can use water, glycerin soap, saddle soap, or any number of specific edge burnishing products. But I've just always used beeswax, so it's worked for me. There's a variety of hand burnishing tools, and this one I'm using here is probably the most common. Just like most of the tools I use, you can find it on my Amazon storefront in the link below, or at Lonsdale Leather if you want to check them out. I'm using some Phoebing's Leather Balm with Atom Wax finish here. Put it on, let it dry, buff it up. After we've got it all buffed up, we're going to open up the holes with a stitching awl. And then we're going to thread our elastic into our eye patch. I have simplicity, costumes, and comfort in mind when making this eye patch, and that's why we're using an elastic. We're also threading it all the way through and not tying it off because I don't want to have any ugly ties on my eye patch. But the moment that we put something all the way through, it negates the effect of our curved eye patch. Now we're going to have this elastic rubbing against somebody's eye. So I'm using some EcoWeld water-based contact cement and I'm applying it to both sides and we're going to put that back piece on which is going to press everything down onto our curve and make it more of a finished backing for our patch. Just make sure you let it dry for a bit before wearing it and it's good to go. With simplicity and comfort in mind, this is a great patch I think for people to make. It's definitely for costumes, and if I was asked to do a professional quality patch for somebody, I'd do things a bit differently. Well, there you go, everybody. Every video counts. This one's pretty simple, but maybe you weren't sure how to make an eye patch, and now you know the simplicity of the project. You can go ahead and form a curved piece of leather, put an elastic on it, and glue something on the back. So hopefully you enjoyed this, got something out of it. Make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for future videos. Hit the notification button so you don't miss any of my content. And until next time, keep on being creative in whatever it is you do. Just remember everybody, that as soon as you put an eye patch on, you become a bit of a badass. So whether you're Nick Fury, the governor, or even Snake Plissken, always watch your back when you're wearing an eye patch. <laughs>